I want to make a quick metal grate for the floor of my old train station scene. And so I've got a plane in here that's approximately the size that I want to use. All right, so you could do this on a, just a typical sort of square uh, plane, or you could do it on a rectangular plane. I'm going to look down from the top, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into edit mode, and I'm going to press I to inset, and I'm going to pull in just a little bit so I've got a bit of a border. I'm going to put an edge loop here and here, just let them fall. Three face selection. I'm going to select all these faces and right click, subdivide, and I'm going to subdivide a few times. I'll subdivide one more time. All right, now I'm going to press spacebar and look for poke faces or control F, poke faces, and I'm going to press I and I again. And I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to pull in just a little bit. And what I want is these those white areas there. That's going to stay and the orange areas are going to go. All right. So I don't want the white areas too thick. So I didn't pull in too much X faces. And we're almost done. I'm going to take this and I'm going to add a solidify to it. You can see some thickness and that looks fine right there for me. So I'm going to go back in and to edge selection. I'm going to shift alt and click that edge. And I am going to E and S. I'm going to pull out a little bit. And then I'm going to look from the top view and see how even it is. See it's come out more in the Y than the X. I'm going to go S, X and pull it out. So it looks relatively equal. And then I'm just going to pull this down a bit to give it a bit of an angle like this. And then I hit E and extrude down just a little bit more. Now I can come under here. I'm going to apply the solidify first of all. And then I can come in and I can delete these faces. X faces, we'll do that. And now let's see uh, how many polys because I want to put uh, a bevel on this. I'm going to click statistics. This is in 2.9 and 2.8. Your statistics are down there. So I'm just going to click that and see. Okay, 2,000 is not too bad. But watch, when I put a bevel on this, even just one, it's, it's, it's jumped up quite a bit. And that's probably okay. Um, I'm not going to be up close. I'm going to go shade smooth. And then I'm going to add weighted normal and auto smooth. And I'm going to probably leave it like that. And the idea would be that if I bring in another plane here to represent the floor, the floor would, would be somewhere like that. Okay, so I'll just uh, go into edit mode and pull this out as if it's the floor. I'll do that. There's another one. stuff here and uh, just double check okay everything looks good and let's get rid of this stuff here and we'll just switch to this and cavity maybe shadow too yeah we'll go eat shadow so it would sit probably like that and then the, the floor would be underneath there um, if you wanted to, you could close this in to make a box-like structure um, so that you didn't see anything underneath here. Assumedly, this would lead to a duct of some sort, but I might want to actually have it like as a vent to out, outside. Okay, so that's a very quick way of, of making that. Now, I want to just show you one other quick thing um, because this looks all right. Uh, let's go back to this. Let's take everything and move it over there and let's just hide it. And I go shift H, bring in a plane. Say I did it square. I started off square, went into edit mode, I to inset, did the same thing. Edge loop there, edge loop there. Select all these faces, right click, subdivide a few times, much as you want. I'll do that. Control F, same thing. Choose poke faces. I to inset, bring it in just a little bit, X faces. Okay, now here's what I wanted to show you. 
the lines are all pretty equal in their thickness. If I took this and then I scaled it to make it more rectangular, like this, I kind of like this effect a little bit better with some thick lines and some thin lines. So that's another way to do it. I'll bring back that other stuff there. And I'll just scale it down and bring it closer. I don't have any thickness on this or anything. Let's make sure it's above. Um, so you can see um, here. I'll I'll do a bit more work on this, and then we'll and then we'll do a better comparison. So I'll add a solidify on this, and we have to adjust that a bit like that. Pull down extrude down just a little bit so that everything's cool um okay so i'll uh, i'll go ahead and apply that and i'll add my bevel okay i won't worry about all the other stuff um yeah you can see you know these horizontal lines are thicker and and these vertical ones and the and the diagonal ones are thinner so I kind of like that effect better, so I might go with something like this and scale it down to the size that that I need rather than this one. Let's uh, bring that hole back and see what it's like if I slide this over. I'll just scale it up a little bit bigger, so it's it's roughly what I need. And I just push it into the ground. Something like. But that's generally the idea. All right, so it's a quick way of, of making these things. Um, however, you need to keep in mind the poly count. So if you wanted to use more than one, what I would do is this, okay? Notice my, let's get rid of this one. 14,000, let's say. All right, take this M, make it a collection, call it a vent or whatever you want. Metal grate. And set the origin of geometry in the 3d cursor there go shift a collection instance vent so when you bring in another one there it is okay when you bring in another one we haven't increased the polys you could still take this and rotate x90 you know you can do stuff like that you could scale them down you know and, and all that kind of stuff uh, if, you, if I then make a change to this one though, you know, if I, I don't know what, <laughs> if I, um, you know, if I expand this or something like that, you know, it'll, it'll affect all of the instances, but at least you can put, if you need one on the floor and one on the wall or one on the ceiling, it's not gonna increase your poly count. All right, so uh, that's one quick way that you can make uh, a vent or a metal grate.